Welcome back to another video of Master IV Fluid course and today we're gonna move and start talking about maintenance IV fluid kind of the more important stuff and if you remember the first video or second video we talked that normally we lose around 500 to 600 cc of water right every day and these are physiologic losses remember we said maintenance iv fluid to replace is to to replace our physiologic losses right that's what we mentioned and we said we lose some sodium and potassium as well so it makes sense to replace those things now they are saying that patients who are hospitalized and they are hospitalized right not moving much in po for all different reasons whether going for a procedure or their disease doesn't allow them to eat so this is their water requirement is less it's kind of close to a thousand cc a liter of water a day because their sweat is less they are the lose of water with the stool is less so they estimate roughly to be around a thousand cc so they said okay they need a thousand cc of free water okay so what kind of fluid that can give you a thousand cc of free water remember they are npo so i have to give them iv remember now we talked about different solution so ns or lr will not be a good choice there is no free water half an s would be a good choice has 500 cc in each liter of free water for an s will not be a good choice because if you give it by itself it's very hypotonic and i don't advise to use it d5 w by itself we don't advise it because it has no electrolytes right so it seems we need a mixture that has free water and have electrolytes and the patient is in PO, how about giving him a few calories to prevent catabolism, not to give adequate nutrition to prevent catabolism. So that's how they came up with the magic solution that probably most of you know is, okay, let's give D5W that will give you a calorie, half an S that will give you free water, plus 20 milli equivalent of potassium that will give you the potassium. Okay? So... This will give you the calories, 170 calories in each liter. This will give you 500 cc of free water, right, in each liter. And this will give you uh, 20 of potassium. So we estimated roughly 1000 cc in, in an average 70 kilo probably person. So you need to give two liters of this. And before that, the osmolarity of this total will be around four, four, I think 70 milli equivalent, um, sorry, more, small per liter, which means this is a hypertonic solution. But remember D5W, as soon as it's infused, it becomes like free water. So technically this, you just need to calculate the osmolarity of this. So this will be around 174. So 154 of the half an S plus 20 of that's 174 milli small per liter so it's an, a hypotonic solution so to give this one liter we need to give two liters of this so basically if you give two liters of the d5 w half an s 20 molecules of potassium that means you give two um 170 plus 170 that's 300 right and 40 kilocalories each day plus a thousand cc of free water from the two liter of half an s plus 40 milli equivalent of potassium right so basically give two liters within 24 hours to give them this amount of free water calories and potassium so this will be around 83 mil per uh, hour a day.
But some say, how about weight adjustments? There's this famous equation where you say they, okay, you base, you give 500 mil plus weight, okay, multiplied by 20, okay, the 20, it's a mil per kg per day. Okay, so you can say for 70 kilo, 1000 mil plus multiply 70 by 20. So that will be roughly around 2900 divided by 24. That will be 120 mil an hour of maintenance fluid. But most of patients will fall between 75 to 150 mil per hour. So if you are tired, you don't want to calculate it in this, you will be okay if you pick this range. If you want to be smart and doing good care to your patient, you can do this equations. Now it's very important to monitor sodium level. So please monitor sodium and potassium. So if the sodium is going down the patient becoming hyponatremic please change this half an s to an s then okay if the patient is becoming hypokalemic you can increase this potassium if the patient is becoming hyperkalemic the potassium is high please get rid of potassium so based on the sodium and potassium you adjust your this and once this npo status is not there anymore once the patient is able to eat and drink you can absolutely discontinue this fluid and patient can resume his oral intake so that's how we're gonna approach that's the way you approach maintenance as you see we don't use ns or lr and the only way you time we use ns if despite in the solution you get hyponatremic we're trying to bring the sodium up um that's if the hyponatremia developed after infusing this solution. Okay? All right, next video, we'll start talking about volume resuscitation. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released. Glad to have you on board.